starting the last chapter in our ebook um, is about graphs. So graphs are very interesting and they cover a lot of very interesting research that's being done in computer science. So the objectives of the chapter, we're going to learn what a graph is and we're going to learn associated algorithms with it. Uh, we're going to implement a graph abstract data type using uh, different internal representations and we're going to see how graphs can be used to solve a wide variety of problems. So graphs are a more general structure than trees. In fact, we'll see later that a tree is a subset of a graph. If you have any graph, you can you can define a tree as a subset of that. Um, graphs can model a great many things in the real world, including systems of roads, which are one of the first uh, uses that graphs were used for in math was actually a, a system of bridges over uh, some rivers. Uh, airline routes between airports, so those are pretty obvious as graphs, but they can also model social uh, media interconnections. They can re represent moves in a board game. Uh, they can even represent uh, protein interactions. So here's an example from the book. Uh, where you have a, a set of classes at the university of the author of the book. And these are the prerequisites. So it's a graph of the prerequisites. So some graphs have arrows. They're called directed graphs or digraphs. So you have to take Math 151 before you can start uh, CS220. Once you've taken CS220 as a prerequisite, uh, you can take any of these two classes. So here's a map of prerequisites. So the terminology of graph is pretty simple. Um, so this just shows you uh, graphs you will usually represent as circles or some kind of uh, points that are connected together. So uh, the things that are connected together are called vertices or vertex. So this is a node or a vertex. Uh, I'm going to interchangeably use node or vertex. My preference is node, probably just because I like the type less. Uh, so a node has a number or a, a, or a name to identify the vertex in a graph. Uh, I should point out that each vertex in the graph has a unique name or number. Um, so you can, we're going to use in uh, later dictionaries to store the vertexes so you can look them up by the name or the number as the ID. Uh, now the node or vertex besides the ID can have a payload of data so the official name is payload for that. So here's the terminology node vertex and that can hold a payload optionally. Uh, the connection between two nodes is called an edge and there's all kinds of connections and we'll show you a little table later of some examples. Uh, another name for it is arc which I don't hear used very much in people when people discuss graphs. So an edge is the connection between the two nodes it represents a relationship between the nodes. Edges have a direction like Bob like salary uh, and in that case the edge will have an arrow on one end uh, so the arrow would point from Bob like Sally's would point to Sally uh, or the represent it's equal in both directions such as Bob is in the same class as Sally or Bob knows Sally uh, that'd be in both directions. So when we have a graph all the uh, edges are either directional or not directional. So that's, if they're all uh, directional, it's called a directed graph or a digraph. So that's another term, term you'll have. Uh, now optionally on an edge, you can have a weight, which is the cost of that connection. So an example is if you're traveling by plane, that might be the number of miles you have to travel by plane to get between two cities. So in this case the nodes of the graph could be cities and the connection means there's an airplane route and the weight is, um, is how many miles that route is. Uh, the weight could be different things so it might be how long the flight takes. So here's some other graph examples now that we've introduced vertex and edges. Uh, so a person meets someone else, so a person could be the vertex and the edges would represent each meeting between people. 
a game board position. So if you play a game and you change positions when you make a move, each board with its unique set of pieces uh, represents a vertex and the move represents the edge, which is the transition from one board to another board. We're going to actually use this later in this chapter. Uh, web pages. So web page could be a vertex. So all the web pages on the internet, when you're on a page, you have a link to another page. So that's called a hyperlink. So that could be the edge. If you look at a molecule, it has, it's composed of atoms. So you can represent a molecule as a graph where you have all the atoms in the molecule as vertex and the bond between two atoms is the edge. Uh, bank account. So you have a bunch of bank accounts and the transactions between them are the edges. Uh, cell phones. So you could look at a whole bunch of cell phones and whenever one cell phone calls another cell phone that could be an edge. Uh, here's the interesting one. If you watch Doctor Who the TARDIS is a time machine that goes from a certain point in time and place to another point in time and place. So the vertex could be those points in time and time and place. And the edge is the time jump. So that might be an interesting uh, project is uh, draw a graph of all the uh, time jumps in the, uh, I don't know how many uh, series of Doctor Who episodes there are. Please subscribe to my channel you'll see an icon in the lower right to do that and you'll receive notifications when I post new videos. Thank you.